If you could actually look at the insanity of the food system, the food supply, it's a joke. If you look at the FDA recalls, it's a joke. It's amazing. Finding glass in food, finding, they found bat wings. No joke, you can look this up. They found bat wings in, in a particular salad brand not too long ago. They're like, how the hell does a bat wing get in a thing of salad? Do you have, are you, is, are you making salads? Is your salad factory inside of a bat cave? You gotta ask yourself, what's really going on? What are they slipping in the food supply? If they can have a bat wing or a bat body part just miraculously show up in some salad greens, what else is going on? What are they putting in the food supply? I mean, they're already putting enough crap in there, ladies and gentlemen. They're already putting in excitotoxins, neurotoxins, chemical additives that'll stunt your growth, both physically, biologically, spiritually, you name it. They're sterilizing you. The only way you're really going to be able to understand that is if you get some of your clarity back by not only wanting to get some of your clarity back, but by actually participating in the dance of health. Health and the health and opening your mind go hand in hand. Without a healthy biology, ladies and gentlemen, without a healthy phys physiology, how is your mind going to be open to all these, to be able, to having their, your blinders opened up a little bit? Quality food causes the mind and the body to grow, not just the body. So, real food nourishes, it cleanses, it soothes the tissues, rejuvenates the cells, cleans the blood, liberates the lymphatic system, enhances cognition, stimulates neuronal growth, you name it. So food by definition is something that nourishes and how can many of the foods on the market even be called food when they don't even nourish probably a lot of smoke in the camera right now so we'll hold hold this but how can how can the food on the market that's not food it's food stuffs it's byproducts it's garbage it's chemical laden crap it's processed manipulated foods genetically engineered crossbred hybridized demineralized, enzyme depleted, you name it. How can that be called food? When food is something that nourishes, food that is something that helps heal, food with nutrition in it. People really don't know what food is here in the matrix, the majority of them, especially in the West. People are eating out of freezers. They're eating a lot of processed food stuff in boxes, stuff with preservatives in it. Now, if you think this is just all a joke and that this doesn't have any effect on your health, the, both of your mind and your body, then keep eating it. And trust me, plenty of people will. Most people don't care about the quality of food that they're eating because for one, it's easier to live in a state of complacency and be a pawn for the system that this, this crazy world wants you to be. It's easier to not question things. It's easier to go along with the herd. And it requires research to actually understand what it is you're putting onto your plate and into your mouth. So when you're so caught up with the stress of the day, when you've got an eight hour job, when you've got to do all this stuff and conform to all this stuff in this crazy world, many people just don't have the energy or the time to, to actually do some research. Even if they, if they cared enough, they would. But many people, their blinders are so shut that they aren't even aware of what's going on. The genetic warfare that's taking place within their biology when they eat this food. This garbage food, ladies and gentlemen. So luckily things are becoming a little bit more commonplace within, you know, the uh, communities and internet circles where people are asking questions. People are starting to care more about the, um, the foods that they're eating. Now many people will equate this to the ending of the Piscean Age and the beginning of the Aquarian Age. I try to stay away from all that New Age stuff. But within the Aquarian Age, it's said that everything that is hidden will be revealed. Whereas the Piscean Age has a lot to do with control and, and, and uh, things of that nature. A lot of things that are quite hellish. But, anyways, you guys, just sitting here. I like to do this often. I like to en envision a better world when I light candles or when I just do something as simple as light an incense. The act of trying, the act of envisioning, the act of being creative is a form of tapping into a form of mental imagery that can have an effect on the entire collective con consciousness. Sounds crazy, but 
we've been shuttered away from the, the power of our imagination, the power of our mind. Thank you for watching. I hope that my channel and my messages, my passion, you name it, can inspire you today to take better care of your health. There's nothing more important than taking daily steps towards greater health. Health impacts every part of your life, ladies and gentlemen. Physical, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, you name it. It addresses every part of our lives. Health is indeed the divine foundation that we need to have so that we can achieve the life that we want. This is Lord Ganesh, the remover of obstacles, and I hope that the obstacles in your life, if you have them, can clear, and that you can attain your heart's desire. I do indeed hope that we can achieve a greater state of being here in this world. We weren't designed to have to deal with all this insanity here in this world, and I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that if we take greater steps towards our health and we envision a greater world, we can get closer to achieving that. So I just wanted to wrap this one up with a thank you. And until next time, peace be with you all.